Hi everybody, this is Robin and I'm here with Mammy. I've started this tutorial with Peacefully Me by Dazzle Dry, which is my favorite French pink. And it dries rock hard in six minutes. And on the tips, I have Dazzle Dry Silver Glow. And um, I, I don't want to put bring up too many products because it doesn't matter, but these are just real sheer colors. And um, and I went, okay, so how I do the, the uh, gradiated, gradiated look on a, on a French is I go the first coat one way, and then the second go coat I go the opposite way and do like a hatch marks across so that you get the most polish down at the bottom. Then I take my finger and just go like that, and then you have the French pink go into a, a, a frosty white. Okay, now on my palette... I use Apple Barrel Paints. You buy them at Walmart. It's less than 50 cents to a dollar a bottle, depending on what Walmart you go to. Okay, I spray them down with water. I have mixed up a few. I had this one. I added a little bit of orange to this. Oh, I had a lighter one. And I added a little bit of orange to it, and it made it into a real uh, lime, uh, chartreuse and then this one is a lime right here but the bright greens when you add orange to them it makes them more of army greens so I made a dark army green a medium army green and a light army green okay starting over <laughs> <laughs> yesterday was was worse so um, I'm gonna go now that I thought about it I'm gonna go with the darker color first now I'm going with my uh, striping brush that is called the unicorn because it has really long hairs on it and I am going in and striping down in a hatched manner and it is becoming spring isn't it mammy yes and so I wanted to do some spring stuff for you guys and I haven't done a wildflower design in a long time if you search Robin Moses wildflower you'll see like lots of different wildflowers I did in the beginning that were so cute in Vegas there was like tons of wildflowers in the desert and so I really loved wildflowers and um, those you know those old pictures I used to have with wildflowers mm -hmm. and they have like all the old writing of like lavender and all that so I'm going to fill the brush halfway thick with the medium green and then push harder and pull up that makes thicker blades of grass push pull up push pull up push pull up then lastly I'm going to go in with black and green mixed together and just barely barely go in to where you just have all these darks and light uh, so I'm going to go and just do some push pull push pull push pull push pull 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 dot 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 Okay, fill up my brush again, and I will push, pull, push, pull, push, pull, and, and you're essentially making little raindrops, like that. That gives it that, that uh, wheat look. Okay, um, let me see. I don't have one that's going this way, but I see that I've already done these two this way, so I'm going to go and just take, I'm going to make my own, and I'll go push, pull, I hope that made sense, push, pull, push, pull, push, pull, dot, 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 and then I'll put a line going this way, okay, and then when I put them together, you see how they're going different directions? That way it doesn't look like they're stamp, 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 stamp. You don't want it to look like that, then it won't look hand done. So. And this, and this really is how you can get a design so simply with it looking hand done. So um, I'm doing that. Then I'm going to go in with my lighter green, bam, right here, and make another type of leaf. It's not going to show as much, but it's going to give dimension. Come on, Rob. There we go. And... I might, I might just add a little bit of darker green so it gives it more dimension. Okay, boom, 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 boom. See? And then... Boom, boom, boom. Oh my god! So cute. 
Okay, so I will do that and then I will go in with a, how about, okay, here's fun, this is fun. A little bit of that mixed with a little bit of that. I'm working right in here and here we go. I'm just gonna do a few stronger leaves at the bottom. This, this will break everything up and make it look like um, a garden. Funny I should say garden. My garden is, is being worked on this weekend. Nice. After ha you know how long I've been working on that. Mm -hmm. My hands are finally not bruised up. Mm -hmm. That was horrible. It's supposed to be nice this weekend. Good. Because it's raining so hard right now. Oh, man. Man, I thought my house was going to blow away. <laughs> So anyways, Mammy, just so you know, you got hundreds of replies wishing you well Aww. from your last video. Thank you, everyone. It was nice. That was. Yeah. Isn't it? They don't, they don't believe. A lot of people don't believe. But um, you guys don't watch my videos. Tell her. Tell them. Uh, well, I've never seen one. Yeah. See? Uh -uh. <laughs> I get the real stuff. <laughs> They're like, why am I going to watch you after I've been here? <laughs> I get the real stuff. <laughs> I'm not going to watch it twice. But it's true. So, so like, they don't know, except for, you know, evil client, which she'll, she'll uh, answer some of you guys. So, anyways, okay, so I will finish that, and I'll meet you back. <laughs> so like, I always try and do three, five, seven, or, you know what I mean? So, I'll do, like, one, two, and then I'll do three, and then I'll leave it, or I'll go to seven, or whatever. But um, it's my OCD that does that to me. So, so like you don't have to, but that's how that's how I do it. Like, if you guys wanted to know all the stuff, so when it's done, it kind of just has an offset look, and it's so pretty, and it looks better in person. Actually, I was trying to get a good light on it. So I went back in with that yellow green that I made first, and I'm gonna put the centers in with that, and then it all blends into that ethereal. Um, look that we're going for. Then with my dots I will go up with the green yellow like that just a few places <clears throat> bah, 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 bah. that then fill in the yellows and do you see how how you can have such a beautiful spring hand painted look for I mean this costs nothing this costs less than a penny to do it is um, fun, it's fast, it dries extremely fast. If I wasn't filming, I could do this design in probably 10 minutes. And um, everywhere she goes, it's a hand grabber. It has been something that has been in my library of designs for probably forever, 20 years or more. And I try to get one out at least, at least once a year. And um, I got it on film, but nobody was watching them when I first put them out. And I'm thinking now, you guys are because before everybody was kind of scared of doing hand painted nail art when I first started and they just immediately said no I can't do it well the more um, viewers that I get the more people are trying and the more that they are learning and so now I'm just gonna make uh, higher quality videos of stuff I've done uh, on a few things that I know will make you money so you can um, make a living doing stuff like this this should be in your um, in your bag of things you do so when it's finished, it'll look like this. I'm gonna paint, I'm not sure if I wanna matte paint it or shiny coat it. We'll find out, but mm -hmm. I'll meet you back. <laughs> okay, so here is the end result. We decided on shiny. I tried one with matte first, this one, and then I, and I didn't, I loved it, but it looked, I was thinking shiny's better. So there, now this is the end result, but you can add little streaks of glitter you can add little butterflies, you can add little uh, ladybugs, you can add little fairies, you can add anything to this and add and add and add. And if you look into my cute playlist, I have a whole butterfly playlist, a whole cute playlist full of how to do um, uh, butterflies and fairies and, and all kinds of stuff. There's a cartoon playlist that will give you way tons of things to add to this, but this is a wonderful start off, and even though it looks so finished, you can add so much more. But I wanted to give you a new video for Wildflowers that um, is attainable this year for even beginners. 
I will write for beginners in the front and you guys who um, watch this can you please try it for me and show me by um, hashtagging me inspired by Robin Moses on um, Instagram or on Facebook or anything like that so I can see them because I want to see what you guys are painting and also when I upload this video any questions you have put in the comment section and I answer them the first day of uploads. That is for all the new girls and for um, anybody who has answers to questions that I have and you don't see an answer, can you please help me answer them so that they're it's a community and we're all learning and having this class together so I want you guys to just feel comfortable and um, do your best as, as long as you know everybody is kind and sharing it's perfect. So I will see you back with more and everybody have a great day. Bye! Bye. Boop. Hi everybody, it is Robin. I am here with Mammy and we are going to do wildflowers. So um, when I first started my channel about eight years ago, I did a bunch of wildflowers and um, look at that. Yeah, it, I don't like that. Me neither. I was doing it earlier, it freaked my eyes out. Presents will do that after a while. Huh, I know this is new. Oh, there you go. Well, oh. maybe it's just loose. I wonder if you can see it on the film.